Just before we start today's video, guys, I just want to quickly show you um, what I'm partnering up with coaching-wise. Um, it's been something that's been highly requested. Um, so I finally teamed up with a coaching service, and that is Gamers Academy. Now, as we look at Gamers Academy, um, you've got some of the best coaches in the world on here. Um, I will soon be coming on here, hopefully. Um, and you know, you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can get group sessions, which are really, really nice and identify all of the problems with your game on how to improve um, the techniques that I show you in tutorials, explained in one-on-one -on -one or group sessions. So it's easier to explain um, and easier to jot down for yourself, um, which is really, really important. If you do want to improve at the game, um, it's, you know, it's, it's great having tactics, but actually analyzing your gameplay um, properly through a coaching service is the best way to improve at FIFA in my opinion. As you can see here, you have some reviews here, pause the video if you need to have a look at them. But I promise you, um, this is a great, great service and you can try it for free right now. Um, so it costs you nothing. As we go here, um, you can try all of these for free, um, get a free coaching session so you can see if it is worth it for you. Um, it is a great, great service, um, great coaches, some of the best in the world. Um, and it is a great, great, great service. So I highly recommend if you are looking to improve at FIFA and go up a few levels, you know, go from maybe rank three to rank two or one, um, even aspiring to the pro level, you know, um, that's something that I took and done myself as well. And coaching is a great, great thing to help you um, just go above and beyond to the next level. Um, I can't recommend this enough. Um, it's been something that's highly requested. So I thought I would provide you with the best thing I can provide. That is Gamers Academy. It's a great, great service. If you wanna get involved, go and try it for free. Link is in the description. With that being said, let's get into the Uribe player review. What is going on guys? Vibe here and welcome to another new player review on the channel. Today we have uh, Uribe, one of the few uh, objective cards that are available right now um, during the foundations kind of promo or you know whatever we're calling it. Um, this looks to be a great card. I did think this was going to be the SBC. It was uh, rumored and leaked to be the SBC. Um, but here's the objective, like the big objective card we got. He looks really, really good on the surface. With 81 uh, pace, 83 dribbling, 82 shooting, 82 defending, um, 82 passing, and 87 physical. High, high work rates, three star skills, four star weak foot, which is really, really important on a sentiment or a CDM. Um, in terms of his stats, he's really, really well balanced. You know, he's got okay aggression and strength, great stamina, um, good in the air, good interceptions, okay defensive awareness, and okay stand tackle. His dribbling stats generally are quite good. And if you were playing him as more of a advanced in centre mid, you could argue that a um, engine would be better for him. And I am going to use him as an advanced in centre mid, but with a shadow. Um, yeah, his dribbling stats generally are okay. His passing generally is okay as well. Um, obviously, the curve and the free kick accuracy bring it down quite a lot. Um, and his finishing, and the shooting generally is really, really nice um, for a box to box. In terms of his traits, he can go forward as well because of the outside of the foot shot, which is starting to become more prevalent in the game right now. Um, outside of the foot shot is quite important if you've got like a three star weak foot player. Um, as they will hit it outside of their foot quite often now. Um, at the start of the game, they wouldn't. It was bugged, um, but they fixed that now. Looks to be a great card. Obviously, links to a lot of very messy cards on the game. One of them being Simon Banzer. Another one of them being Corona's Rule Breaker. And if we go and look real quick at the Liga Nos, um, there are just lots of very good links to this card, you know. Um, this Lincoln card that you can get from the Seasonal object um, Battle Pass. Um, Quartes, not really. Um, Rafa, that's an uh, objective through squad battles. Uh, Goncalo, same with him as well. If you took Pedro Porro from last season, um, Rafa Suarez and Diaz are all great links to this card. Probably wouldn't go any further than that. Um, Diaz is really, really good in game if you need somebody to strong link him as well. Um, but Corona is probably the best link you can get to him. Um, strong link anyway. Um, obviously, Corona is really, really good on this game. Um, but yeah. It looks to be a great card. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go play a game of champs qualifiers with him. Um, see how he performs. We'll probably, uh, you know, we'll probably stay live for a bit. Um, live come through the like first half or something. Um, but yeah, boys, we're going to play him in a four-one-two-one-two narrow as a get-forward centre mid. 
So yeah, let's get into the game and see how we got on with Uribe. So, what are we facing? Oh my God, what a team. He's got Torres in there, but he's got Gerard, Del Piero, VJ, Janola. Let's get into the game. Let's see how we get on with Uribe. All right, boys, I'm going to keep you with me straight away here. Um, yeah, playing for one to one two narrow. And we're just going to see how good his passing is and all of that jazz. If he can go forward um, and be a threat as well, would be nice to see. Um, obviously, this guy's got a good team here, so we've got to be a bit careful. I don't want to lose. But 1 0 down already. What a silly goal that is. Wait, why isn't my team. Right, here we go. All right, here's your eBay. Dribbling feels okay. Oh, man. Why is Kante playing up front? Here he is. He's already in. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. That should have probably been one all. Um, we got Uribe in there. But yeah, we missed it. I'm going to try to score there for a Corona. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. Um, probably should have scored there. I bottled it a little bit. But um, it's going to be a sweaty game, I think. <clears throat> Into the boy again. What's his passing like? Into Banza. Into Banza. Oh, that's an equaliser anyway. Good stuff. Um, I don't know what that shot was from Banza there. But he's, he's felt okay like, on the ball so far when I have had him with it. You know. Um, let's get it back into him. Let's see what sprint boost is actually like. Oh, that's an easy pass for him there. His passing feels good. Yeah, 2-1 up. Good stuff. His passing does feel quite good, actually. Maybe you don't need an engine. Maybe he's already pretty uh, sorted on passing. Um, which would be nice because I feel like the engine's kind of wasted on this card. You need to get his uh, defensive stats up just a little bit. In my opinion, anyway. Oh, that is so stupid. Defensively, how good is he at cutting stuff out? Not good. Who have I got in goal? De Gea. How you doing, Andy, mate? Deal with that. He's almost scored two corners. That would be a yikes. Um, his passing has felt okay so far. That's nice. Good bit of physicality from the boy. We can drive here. Good driven pass there. He feels quick as well, actually. Oh, my God. Uribe. Uribe. Oh, I should have scored that. Yeah, it's been good though. It's been decent. Don't like where he goes off corners though. Yeah, good football. There he is again. Unlucky, unlucky. His dribbling feels really good though as well. For a centre mid, you know, for a box to box centre mid. You're not really expecting a uh, very good dribbling. But yeah, his dribbling generally has been really, really good. It's an awful pass from Banza. I will say, though, his shooting feels a bit sus. So far, anyway. Oh, my God. All right, boys. I'm going to bring you back some highlights with him. But, yeah, don't shoot with him, basically, so far is what I'm seeing. His passing does feel good, though, man. Yeah, look at that. Look at the interlink with Banza. It should have been a goal there. Should have been a goal. Easy. Um, but he was he was linking up quite well there with the boys. Um, yeah, his passing is just... Quite nice, um, to be fair. Nice. This corner is really good as well, by the way. Okay. I don't know about that, boys. I don't know about that. That, that was an easy pass, and he's messed that up majorly. Um, that was a bit sus there. Mark, right, let's have a look. I don't know why I'm trying to pass like that with Kante. That's more like it, pal. Banzer's choking. His dribbling feels quite nice, to be fair. Yeah, nice pass for him. Oh, thank you very much. I think that's an assist from Uribe. Um, this has been... What? One hell of a weird game so far, lads. Yeah, good stuff again, Uribe. Um, it's been a strange game. This guy's just through balling. It's really, really annoying. Um, so he was okay going forward. And what I'm going to do now in the second half 
is I'm going to show you highlights of him as a, like a defensive option. Um, so I'm going to put him at CDM and see how he performs there. Um, so yeah, let's get into the second half and see how we get on with him. His dribbling is nice though. If you wanted to play him as a lone CDM maybe, lads. Um, I think you could do it. He's quite quick. Um, yeah, he's, he's very good in that regard. He's good at driving as well. Yeah, good pass. Okay, Beckham. I was all what? <sighs> Go on, you rebate. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw your rebate there, boys. A great side tackle. Um, yeah, we stopped his counter attack. And via your rebate, by the way, with a great tackle. And we've just scored off of that. So, yeah, great stuff from him there. 4 3 to us. It seems to cover a lot of grass. Um, you know, you get some players that they just kind of sit in position and don't do much. Um, but your rebate gets across the field a lot. Um, and obviously, with the great stamina that he has, there's no issue to, um, you know, you, you're not worried about his stamina for 90 minutes, are you? So that's really, really nice to have, I think, on the card. Um, his strength is good. He feels quite powerful. Um, yeah, is it, he, he's good, man. He's good. He's good. Um, yeah, let's have a look real quick to make sure he did get the 10.0. Um, does that come up straight away here? 10.0 for your eBay with 100% tackle success rate, which is mental. Um, with only three tackles, I suppose. Um, good dribble success rate. His dribbling did feel really good as well, actually. Um, yeah, we dominated that game. And honestly, this is this, this for a free card in mid to late November is quite crazy. Um, yeah, I I, th I think if you want to play him as a as a centre mid, um, look at look at an, en an engine. But I su I suggest and I recommend you play him as a CDM. Um, whether that be a lone CDM or your actual CDM in a four two three one with a uh, more advanced in CDM next door team in a four two three one, I honestly think your best bet is to uh, is to play him as the. The, the proper sitter, you know, like what Kante would be. Um, he, he, for me, feels better than a flashback Kante. Well, I think it's just because it, of his frame um, and his height is a bit better. Um, he has an okay body type, but it's a bit weird for playing CDM. But yeah, man, he's great. You could also, instead of a shadow, if you're going to play him at CDM, uh, you could look at an anchor to get his aggression and strength up. That's up to you. Um, I personally... Like the shadow, just to get his pace up by ten, um, get him up to ninety-one pace. But yeah, I, I think this is a great card. I think this this will be usable until after team of the year, or maybe till team of the year. Um, nine out of ten from me feels great. Um, box to box, CDM, whatever you want him to be. You could even play him as a cam. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the lack of skills on him. But the four-star weak foot is really, really nice as well. So you can pass it on both feet. Brilliant, brilliant card. Links to a lot of great players right now. Um, obviously, if you can get that like, Corona as well who's a seriously, seriously meta player on this game right now. Um, you're living the high life. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant card, boys. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it. Uh, more reviews coming soon when the EFL does come out. Um, we'll be banging out all the reviews for them players. But yeah, boys, that's going to be it from me for now. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. That's going to be it. So take care.